All right, today we're going to go over uh, disassembling and reassembling the Ruger 5.7. Uh, we've already cleared and checked this firearm. Chamber is empty. Nothing in the magazine well. All right, I'm going to go ahead and release the slide forward. I'm going to go ahead and pull that trigger. Uh, now, if you see this little lever right here, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to pull this lever uh, out and then kind of twist it down and then pull it the rest of the way out. Uh, this lever is kind of difficult, so there's a little, if you see that little, uh, indention down in there, the little hole. I usually take a flathead screwdriver and I'll take it and I'll just pop it out just like that. Uh, now I'm going to take my other hand and I'm going to kind of wiggle the slide a little bit uh, so the barrel will kind of release tension off of this lever. Uh, it is, it's got some tension on it but it will come out. Just wiggle it a little bit. Uh, now basically you pull it just like that. You pull up. You kind of wiggle it a little bit and then pull up. Um, now that you've got that out, uh, the spring you just push forward and up. Hold on to it. It is a, a sealed spring on the rod. Uh, it is attached to the rod so it's not going to come flying off but the spring and the rod could shoot out. Uh, now the barrel, push it forward, up and wiggle it out. Uh, that's all that's to it. Uh, now we're going to take the barrel reverse order, put down in the hole, slide forward, slide back. Uh, now we're going to take the spring. If you look, you've got the smaller end of the spring here, the larger end of the spring here. This is the back. This goes toward the front. The hole up there in the front. Uh, so now we're going to take this. We're going to send the small end and seat it down in that hole. And we're just going to push forward. And there's only really... Um, one groove that that's going to sit down on. It's a very large groove. I actually like the design of the uh, 5.7, uh, the way it's made right there. It sits and it seats really, really well. Um, now, to put this part back together, we've got to actually look down in here. You've got some grooves right here. That is actually where these start to go in at. Uh, so we don't start way back here, we start up forward um, with this one. Let me turn it around, it's a little easier sometimes. Um, yep, seat it down, uh, and then you look back here, you've got the grooves here as well. So you've got to seat it on, uh, and then we're going to pull it back. But what we got to do is we're going to leave it set forward basically, and I'm going to take and I'm going to kind of wiggle it right here. Um, but we got to have this barrel. This barrel needs to seat basically forward, and that barrel is going to have to wiggle as we put this part in. Uh, now, to start this part, we're going to go in. We're going to start wiggling. We're going to make sure this barrel is moving. There it goes. See if I'm pushing the barrel on the front end. And uh, now we can continue to wiggle this part. And then this has got a little. Uh, See that little pin? There's a little hole that that pin seats in. Uh, and now it's fully assembled. Now we've got to rack it a couple times, pull that trigger, rack it, pull that trigger. That is assembled and ready to go. And that's how you reassemble uh, the Ruger 5.7. Thanks for checking out our video. If you would, if you're local to the Anderson, South Carolina area, we teach concealed weapons classes on a monthly basis. Uh, check us out at www.defensetraining.org. Uh, if you're not local to us, we also make holsters, uh, defensetraining.org backslash holsters. We make ambidextrous in the waistband holsters at this point. Uh, check us out and thanks for watching.